In this video, you'll learn how to buy a domain name. So this will be very quick and simple. We'll be using Namecheap to register a brand new domain. I've been using Namecheap for years. They are very cheap, reliable, and very easy to set up. Now, I've put a link in the description that will bring you to Namecheap and also give you access to some great deals on your new domain. So go ahead and follow that link and let's get started. Following the link in the description will take us to namecheap.com. All we have to do is enter a domain name to get started here. So I would like to register ideaspot.space for this example. Uh, .com and .net are more popular extensions. I'm going to use .space for today. If you're curious about all the different extensions that you can use here, under domains, they've got TLD list, and that will list you all the kinds of uh, extensions that are possible. Now it is worth checking out that list because you can check out all the registration prices and the renewal prices and just compare the different names versus the value that you get from them and just see which one is right for your project. So let's continue with Ideaspot Space. Let's hit search. So luckily enough, this one is available. We can go ahead and add that to the cart and it will try to upsell a bunch of extra services. You don't need any of these. You can ignore all of them. Just head to the checkout there. In our checkout here, we can confirm how many years we'd like to register for. So by default, that's set to one year. Uh, domain privacy is turned on by default. That is free forever. That's one of the things I quite like about using Namecheap. And um, that's all we really need to do. We can head over to confirm our order. So this will take us to our account creation page. We just need to fill out this form. So just username, name, and email. We can untick the uh, marketing emails and then go ahead and create an account. So now we just need to add our contact information. So that's basically just the address and phone number. And once you've done all that, go ahead and continue. On our next screen, we can check that our domain privacy is ticked. So that should be ticked by default. We can also save these settings. If we want to purchase domains in the future, this will speed up the process. So go ahead and do that and continue. On this screen, we enter our payment detail. So there is credit card, PayPal, and some other options down here, including Bitcoin. So just go ahead and fill that out and then go ahead and continue. So here we can just review our order and click pay now. So that'll take us to our thank you screen and we can go ahead and see our domain here is registered and we can go ahead and manage it now. So here you can manage your domain, link that up with a website and use this name on a website. So if you don't have a website yet, check out this video that I made previously, top six free web hosting options. Check that one out. You can actually link this domain up with some free web hosting if you're interested. So check that video out, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.